I'm underneath its butt. Hello! Today we're gonna explore the Alabaster Icelands. Alright, let's get the Pokemons, let's get this bread, let's freaking get started, boys and girls of all ages. Alabaster Icelands. I feel like we're in the North of Pole. My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. But the Survey Corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, where you'll find Avalug, is rather far off, I'm afraid. How aren't you freezing? Freezing? I'm practically sweating. We're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. You're talking about that Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalug's Legacy, obviously. See you at Avalug's Legacy, Audrey. Take care on your way. They're not going with me? They're making me go on my own? Oh my word. We need to go right here. It's a new Pokemon. Does he like berries? That's all I got. I got it. I got it. A snow Orant. Honestly, there's not too many new Pokemons. This one's new. Oh my gosh, just get in the freaking ball. <gasps> He threw icicles at us. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's just not meant to be. Dude, just get in the ball. Get in the ball. Oh, this one doesn't see us coming. He don't see us. Oh my gosh. Talk about playing hard to get. I'm already hating the Icelands. Oh my god. Just get in the ball. That's all you have to do. You're only making it worse for yourself. See, that one listened. Hi, do you want to be my friend? He doesn't want to be my friend. I think this one's going to be easier to catch. Let's go, man. Look at the squad is is all here. Dude, this guy is topless. This gentleman is Avalug's warden and my most honorable teacher, Garrick. I am Garrick. I serve as one of the Pearl Clan's wardens. That leads to my next question. What is wrong with him being frenzied? It could trouble others. Our mighty lord of the tundra, Avalug, has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Who cares about the grandstanding? Let's get to battling. Oh, it's on. Eat my Gyarados. Eat my Hurricane. Let's go. Let's go. One shot. We're so so good. We're going for the hurricane again. Wow, we're so good. Outstanding. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through and through. I suppose you all can get on with it now. This one's all right. He switched up real fast. As soon as I beat him, all of a sudden he likes me now. Then if you insist on quelling Avalug's frenzy, you'll want to claim some of the eternal ice he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Eternal ice is it. For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need bravery. Long story short, you've got to to seek out a young lady named Sabi. Sabi. Wasabi. Sabi? It's Wasabi. She looks like Wasabi. This guy just is so annoying. He's like that guy at the gym that is showing off to everybody. We get it. You can do squats. You have an eight pack. He's out in the freaking Arctic with no shirt on. How do I talk to you? Do I have to climb the rock? Oh, there's a backside. Oh my gosh. Hello, my name's Wasabi. I've heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're gonna be fun to play with. Play with? You want Bravery's help so you can quell Avalug's frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get it if you can catch me first. Oh my gosh, I actually have to catch her? Is this some kind of sick joke? Hurry up. We gotta get there fast. Audrey! Shut up. The challenge continues. The next stop of our merry chase is Snowpoint Temple. Let's go, Bravery! She's like the little annoying kid on the playground that just wants to play games and mess with your head. How am I supposed to get up there? da 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 it's my son. Hi. I'm going. That was actually way easier than I thought. It's nice having someone new out here to play with. Safety in numbers or something like that. Give me the damn bird. Anyway, here's Snowpoint Temple. I've opened the front door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. I'm scared. Go away. I can't ride my horsey in here. Oh God, what is this? This looks like madness. Steel, ice, rock, ice. It's spelt Siri. Steel, ice, rock, ice. What is this? Some kind of madness? It's steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, rock. I press the panels. Let's go. Oh my god, I don't have my horsey. Run! Staying alive, staying alive. Uh uh oh. I guess I've been caught, so we're nearly done. That's no fun. I feel like I'm her guinea pig. All right, Bravery, why not test out Audrey's strength for yourself? What? All I got is Rapidash. I gotta hit it with the flame wheel. Oh, God. He keeps replacing his health. Icy wind. 
I did it, I did it, I did it. Play along with me on your flute. Play the flute, girl. If you jump from way up here, bravery can take you gliding just about anywhere. But don't forget to get the eternal ice. That's why you needed bravery in the first place, right? I need to go right here. I need to get eternal ice. Okay, here goes nothing. <gasps> I soar through the sky like a whimsical bird. I'm going fast. Drop me off, big beak. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, that was so fun. My phone is ringing. How convenient. I obtained a piece of eternal ice. It was that easy. I thought it was going to be so hard. I gave Garrick the eternal ice. I may still have my own doubts weighing in on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations so that you can face my Lord Avalug. Meet me at Ice Peak Arena. Okay, here we are. I suppose I'd better get to work making some bombs using that eternal ice. Make me some bombs. I've heard how they are, and with muscles like mine, it'll be only a moment's work. And there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalug, then walk on. The path lies before you. But know that Avalug will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. Hurl. Oh my gosh, this is so intense. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, I really gotta pee. A few minutes later. I went fast. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ice shards. Oh my god. That's a little bit rude. Bro, the Bombs, man. <laughs> Round two. The snowballs of death. This is pure concentration, literally. What? The ice beam laser. It's getting faster. Ice shards of death. Yep, yep, yep. That way, and then that way, and then it's gonna go this way. I get hit every time. Oh my god, ice shards at the same time? That is not fair. Why it gotta switch up like that? What do I do, just wiggle like a worm? It's impossible! Ah! Not this part. Ah! 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 I'm not stopping. I did it. I did it. The last bomb. Yay. Oh, the squad's all here. Wow. You quelled every last frenzied noble. I say we pay grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. I did it. Thank you, everybody. It's been a pleasure. Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied and now each of them has been quelled. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Kaboom! Disaster looming. It's not over. What? It looks like there's a pinking slime sky. Oh my god. He looks angry. The way the sky has changed, it is ominous. Very ominous indeed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy. It struck the night that Audrey fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Audrey? Are they gonna turn against me? You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies? You, your yourself brought about and having gained our trust what then what is it you're really after here raw i didn't do anything she will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster but not as a member of the galaxy team she remains a suspect unless she can clear her name there are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky and so i must ask you to leave you are no longer welcome in the galaxy team after all my hard work you're to be expelled from the village? Look at Ray's face. That is how I feel. I'm being banished. You've been an aide to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Ottoman or Arita might take you in. I bet you could at least start by finding Leon at Grand Tree Arena. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. You, what in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. I need help. Help? It's not that I wouldn't like to help you, but it would put Arita in a difficult position. Warden May might be able to help you, though. You'll most likely find May at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. We got rejected by the child. How much you want to bet she's just going to say, Oh, I can't help you. Go talk to this person. We're cruising on our fish. Oh my gosh, here she is. She has her munchlax. My, my, what a frightful sky. You 
You don't know what brought this about, do you? I'm trying to find out. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. Forgive me, I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. No one wants to help me, man. Okay, he will definitely help us. I think he likes us. I've been looking all over for you, you know. Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. It seems you're in quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. There are still corners of the Hisui region where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that will be the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. Oh my gosh, you brought us to a cute little village. Ancient retreat? Always a pleasure, Mistress Kogita. I, Audrey, is the woman of the hour. She's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Now listen, lost one. Here is what you must do. Hisui holds three lakes of great importance. Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. Each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the red chain. With it perhaps you can bind the world together. My phone is ringing. You can see the locations of three lakes marked on your arc phone. I feel like we should just go to Lake Verity in the Obsidian Fieldlands first because it might be the easiest one. Let's go save the world. We're at the lake. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano. It is protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. Oh my gosh, what the heck kind of voodoo magic is that? Going in the dark cave, no big deal. Oh my dear lord Jesus. Ah, let's go. It's dead. Oh my god. Your emotions, share them with me. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Surprise. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Heartening. What did you feel when you cast out of the galaxy team? I accepted it. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Oh my gosh, we actually got it. Now we've two lakes left to visit. Let's see what the old hag has to say. So the legends told it true, then the red chain must be real as well. In any case, all we have to do is complete two more trials and we will get the red chain. Let's go to the Crimson Mirrorlands to the next lake. The second lake. Do you know about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption much like Va Lake Verity. This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azelf. Here we go. Open up. Oh my god, it's kind of scary. He's like a porcupine. Oh my gosh, that was easier than the last one. <gasps> Show to me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Oh my gosh, not bombs. He just moves whenever you throw it. What? Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. I didn't even hit him. I didn't even hit him with a ball. Just one more to go. So that's Azelf's fang. I sense a warmth to it. We've got one material left to find for the red chain. Let's go get it. We are heading to the Icelands. We're at the lake. Here we are, Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Uxie. Oh my god. Okay, we're just gonna simply die. We did it, that was so easy. <gasps> Come, I will test your knowledge. Not my knowledge. Combi, Zubat, unknown. Magnadon, Dusclops. How many are their eyes? Combi has six eyes. Zubat doesn't have eyes. Unknown has one. Magnadon has three. Dusclops has one eye. Six, zero, one, three, one. Did I do it? Oh my god, I did it! It's the last piece. We just simply win. That's it. You've completed the trials of the three lakes. The shrouded ruins. <gasps> oh my gosh, the squad's all here. They're doing their voodoo magic. It's the red chain, it's the red chain. Oh Oh my gosh. Let's go. I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. We've got to let him know that it'll be all right now that we have the red chain. I feel like the commander's the villain. So you managed not to die just as I ordered. Well done. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilife Village. The security corps had been scouting the area near the space-time rift and they reported sightings of something on 
on the other side of it. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. Take that red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all this. Okay, I just know that Commander Kamado is going to be the villain and we're going to have to fight him at the top of the freaking mountain. Oh my gosh, we get to go inside this cave. We haven't been in here before. Who is this? Oh, it's the Mochi guy, Benji. Time we got rid of you once and for all. What? I thought we were friends. Oh my god. Dude, I wasn't expecting the mochi guy. I have to fight him. Yeah. High horsepower. Go big or go home. Oh, it's gonna use a potion. Of course it's gonna use a, a potion. I'm hypnotized so I can't move. And he's using power gems. Nice. I can bite it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill it. Let's go. We got one done. Giga impact. Oh my gosh, one shot. Oh my gosh, thank god. Giga impact, get him. <gasps> I one shot it. Okay, we only have one more Pokemon left to kill. Let's go. Am I seriously about to beat it? Oh my god, I did it. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. Save Kamado from himself by force, if you must. Oh my gosh, we're going to the top of the mountain. You again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Bro, I don't even think my Pokemon are healed from the last battle. And chomp. It's almost dead. Okay, bravery's gone. Yeah, that's right. Take that. He's not dead? Snorlax is dead. We have two more to kill. Oh, I one-shot it. Let's go. I did it. I did it. I defeat the commander. He bowed to me. Oh my god, I have the commander on his knees. I know I have no right to ask it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition team. Oh my gosh, it's finally red chain time. I've been dying to see this. The temple is shaking. Oh my god, it's an earthquake. <gasps> what? What? Oh my god. It all makes sense now. The red chain. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It looks vicious. Dialga. Get in the ball and please stay in it. Oh my gosh. Finally. Mighty Dialga is speaking to me in my mind. What the heck? Why him? Space time is torn. Awful power spills forth. The frenzied one comes to fight. Now human. Fight with me. You're telling me there's another one? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it Arceus now? Now it has to be Arceus, right? What the heck? heck? You be looking kind of ugly, man. That is kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. All of you, we must vacate this. I think we're supposed to fight it. Why did we run? The stone of creation's beginning. The chain of red. The vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now pervading space. Well, the red chain we have at least, and the vessel of humankind's invention, I dare say that might refer to a pokeball. Then let us set out at once. We make for the primeval grotto. A primeval grotto is where I go to get the ore. Origin ore. Oh my gosh, it's right there. We're going to have to ask you to stop right there. Um, excuse me, sisters. Now is not the time, and you girls kind of suck. So I would just step out of the way. She only has two Pokemons? Yay, he's dead. Only one more Pokemon to kill. Kill him! Oh my gosh, I one-shotted the Gengar. We'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you'd better do something about that sky. They're so unintimidating, but they think they're so scary. Oh my gosh, we're getting the ore. I obtained a piece of origin ore. The fragments of the red chain collected at great personal risk by the Pearl Clan. Then the stone of creation's beginning, which we first learned of thanks to the Diamond Clan. And now it is time for the Galaxy team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. We've done it, Audrey. It's complete. I dub it the origin ball. Look at it. An origin ball. Look at that. Take the origin ball and hurry back to the Temple of Snow together with Dialga. It's time for the final battle. I'm going right in. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so intense. Oh my god. Am I gonna catch it? It blew up. Oh my god. It's gonna kill me. Oh my god. Bruh. This is scary business. I'm underneath its butt. Oh my gosh, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. I'm just gonna go in for the kill, I'm going in. I'm going in. Okay, I did it. The origin ball. Oh my god. I got it. The sky is blue again. Why do I feel like I'm gonna cry? We faced a calamity unlike any we have known, but we were able to overcome it by working as one. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all those who live in the Hisui region. It's not over. Oh, it is over. Why was that so dramatic? 
like. Seek out all Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed. Today's gameplay was awesome. Bye.